and welcome to this edition of Company Profiles. I'm Bronwyn Seaborn. I'm here in Khabarone, Botswana, a country known for its mineral wealth. But while diamonds might be Botswana's more well-known export, another kind of gem is waiting in the wings ready to shine. Choppies is Botswana's largest supermarket chain with a 35% share of the total retail market. It also has operations in South Africa and it's only looking to expand. To fund this expansion, it has decided to list on the Botswana Stock Exchange. Its initial public offering looked to raise 350 million pula, making it the biggest IPO in the history of the BSC. I met with key decision makers from Choppies to look at what makes this truly Botswana brand so successful. And with that, Choppies shares begin trading on the Botswana Stock Exchange and traders get down to haggling their listing price of 1 pula and 15 tebe. The initial public offering was four times oversubscribed. And as the shares start trading in the secondary market, it has the roll-on effect of increasing the exchange market's capitalization by 1.6 billion pula, which is a 5.4% increase. This makes Choppies the sixth biggest company by market cap on the exchange. Over three years ago, the company decided to go to market. But many years before that, a man dreamt of bringing shops closer to the people. Farouk Ismail is the founder of the supermarket chain and at his offices in Khabarone, he surrounds himself with family mementos, which is not surprising seeing as Choppies was started as a family brand. My actual surname is Chopdat. So um, the family nickname was, uh, was known as, uh, the, the, everybody knew us as Choppies. And that's where the name came from. Uh, Choppy started off in Lobatsi. I had a store, one store, which is known as Wayside Supermarket. But tell me, what, what did that first store look like? Uh, the first store was just a, a normal supermarket. Was um, Well, in the early 70s, it, it wasn't bad at all. I mean, it was, for Lobatsi standards, it was excellent. It was really good. How big was it? It was about a thousand square meters. We traded in Labatsi for about six, seven years, and then we got our first break in Gavarone. It was in Khabroni West, and we had the Friendly Grocer franchise. And uh, at, th at that time, when we took on uh, the store, uh, generally speaking, Botswana was going through a little bit of a rough patch. And people that own supermarkets, you know, like were selling out. So we acquired four supermarkets at one go. And um, obviously, um, Spa wouldn't give us another franchise. So we said, look, enough is enough. Let's do away with franchising. Let's start our own, you know, friend, uh, own brand. And that's how Choppies came about because we were having endless trouble with uh, franchises, you know. So we said, look, let's call it today with them. Let's do our own thing. And that's how Choppies was born. And we've never looked back since then. I mean, it was opportunities arose. Uh, we were offered sites, which we just took on and we, we grew. It just snowballed. Chobbies has 49 stores across Botswana, serving communities from Pitsani to Shikawe. It has also recently extended its reach further south and owns nine stores in South Africa. And there to ensure that its aggressive expansion plan is met is Ramachandran Autopat. Autopat came to Botswana from India to be the group's accountant back in the 1980s. Today, he is the CEO of Choppies, and as he proudly waits to walk us through one of the group's newest stores, he explains the scope of the Choppies brand. This is one of the biggest stores in Botswana. Okay, this is a hyper, uh, hypermarket. We call anything about 3,000 square meters as hypermarket. Anything less than 3,000 square meters is a normal supermarket. Okay. This, is, this is in a mall situated next to the bus rank. It's, it's supposed to be catering for more of lower LSM and middle to lower LSM market. Let's go into the stores and you feel the difference what you see here with other supermarkets which operate in the same category. Autopart is in his element when walking through the well-lit aisles of the Choppy store. 
The fruit and veg section occupies almost 15% of the shop's floor space and plays a key role in supporting Botswana's economy and developing relations with other countries. Our trucks bring in 900 tons of fruit and veg a week from South Africa. That, that, are, that, you, are you looking to grow that at all? It is growing all the time. We, we operate almost uh, 42 refrigerated Scania trucks just to bring in those uh, fruit and veg from Pretoria and Johannesburg to Botswana. We are the big, second biggest buyer in uh, Pretoria fresh produce market. And uh, fr within Botswana, 75% of the fresh produce produced in Botswana is sold through our outlets. Because our trucks, which goes back with go goods into the north, when they come back, they load those products, reverse logistics applies. They load the products from the north and bring it back here. That's a help to the farm, farming community as well. They rely totally on choppies to load back those products back into the city center of Habrun. Choppies also has unique features that give them a competitive edge. Auto Party eventually comes to a stop in the middle of the store. Its large aisles and well-stocked shelves can rival many other well-known brands. But according to Atapat, it's their strategy to keep prices low that keeps consumers coming back. Most of the infrastructure is owned by Chopis, like transport division is owned by Chopis. The distribution centers uh, are kept to the lean and mean levels. So that's how we could uh, compete and we, we could be successful. We're keeping our operation costs. Uh, there is no frills here. It's a simple organization. We kept it simple. Even though we have grown to a decent size, we're still keeping it simple. But while the bold green and red signage attracts many feet through the doors of choppy stores, behind the scenes, employees work hard to ensure that shelves are always well stocked by the two distribution centers that the company owns. This is the distribution center in Khabaroni, Botswana, built in 2010 to service the growing Choppies brand. It now not only services shops here in Botswana, but until the Rustenburg distribution center is built, it services shops in South Africa as well. On average, more than 50,000 products are managed in these warehouses. The massive storage facilities allow Choppies to buy in bulk and pass on those savings to the consumer. Another way that Choppies is able to keep its prices so low is by partnering with local producers and suppliers. Not far from the distribution center is this water bottling factory. It hums with activity all day, supplying Choppies with its house brand water. We, we make still water here, which is uh, done through some, a process called reverse osmosis, which gives you clear crystal edge to uh, the, the proper water. Uh, we make around uh, 1,000 bottles an hour uh, on this particular line. We make about 15 to 20 pallets of water depending on the size. We make 500 ml, 1.5 litre and 5 litre. Depending on that, we make about 20 pallets of water in a, in a day. Uh, that is sufficient uh, to cater to most of Choppy's requirement and we do make some other brands as well. And, and Choppy's owns this completely, do they? Uh, Choppy's supports this company. It is, it is, the ownership is not under Choppy's, but we do uh, supply 100% of Choppy's requirement. Uh, Choppy's do support a lot of other uh, manufacturing units as well, so this is one of them. So how much water do you give to Choppies sort of on a monthly, daily, whatever sort of period you can give? Uh, we, we make about, uh, we give about 500,000 bottles of 500 ml water per month uh, to Choppies and uh, about, uh, about 25,000 uh, bottles each of 5 litre and 1.5 litres. That's the approximate volume which we give. Around, uh, you can say around uh, one and a half million litres of water is what, what we use here for, for Choppy's requirement. It's the promotion of house brands that enable the group to keep costs low and keep consumers smiling. Another reason for shoppers to keep smiling is the annual birthday bonanza that Choppy's holds. This year, Choppies gave away 18 sponsored cars. To enter the competition, I just bought something with Tastic. Actually, the, the competition is got Tastic, got a lot of things to, to... So I just entered and filled the form and put in the box. Um, do you have a car or is this... I don't have a car. This is mana from heaven. It's the first car and I'm really happy for that. Um, Tastic, as most consumers in Botswana know, it's uh, it's a very big brand amongst the people here. It's probably the biggest rice brand in the country. Um, 
choppies are spread out through the country. It's, it's our best way of getting the product out to our consumers. And doing this promotion with choppies is sort of giving back to the community, I mean, in hand in hand with choppies. While well, lucky consumers get to drive away, in some cases, their very first car, Choppies in a subtle way is contributing to social economic prosperity, not only through competitions like these, but through employment opportunities as well. Choppies employs 3,900 uh, people. We are certainly one of the largest private sector employers after government and perhaps the Botswana. Uh, we, we, we must be either number three uh, or, or four there about, you know, after the mines. And so we are a significant player, uh, uh, player in the economy so far as uh, employment is, is concerned and therefore we are contributing to our to our employment creation, we are contributing to income distribution uh, through the number of people we employ and uh, as we contend we, we always come in a little lower than our competitors and therefore we say that the people are getting value for money. Not only are consumers getting value for their money, but choppy shareholders are getting much the same deal. One such investor is Martin Mahatle. So Chop is actually offered an opportunity uh, you know, for the investor you know, to invest in a very big uh, cap stock you know, in terms of market cap it will be one of the biggest in the, you know, in, 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 the, in, the, in the market and also in terms of uh, diversifying you know, uh, in, in terms of the, you know, the, stocks that are there, the stocks that are available. Chop is really is in a sector on its own if one may say that because there's no really other comparable stock you know, that is comparable to, uh, to Choppies. The first trading session here at the Botswana Stock Exchange with Choppies shares in the market has come to an end. The share price closed up just shy of 22% to 1 pula and 40 tebe. Analysts are expecting only upside from this share. And when looking at the supermarket chain's financial outlook for this year, you can see why. Revenue is expected to rise by 42% to 3.4 billion pula. The group also expects to expand gross margins to 19%. And good performance of the stock can only mean good things for the Botswana Stock Exchange as well. If I were to use one word to describe uh, what our listing means to the Botswana Stock Exchange, I would say it is a fantastic feeling that we have at the BSC. The reason is that, uh, as you know perhaps, the government accounts for a huge percentage of Botswana's uh, economy. The private sector in Botswana are both young and comparatively small and listings of uh, private companies such as Chopis does a lot uh, for both the market capitalization of the exchange and more importantly the liquidity of the exchange. We say that success begets success and when one company lists it's not actually listing for itself, it's listing on a market. Companies that are family owned, companies that are managed exclusively by uh, individuals perhaps, to realize the potential, to realize the gain, uh, what, a listing, uh, what a listing can really bring them. Because a listing is not about raising funds only. If you really want to raise funds, you can borrow money from a bank. But a listing is all about valuation. And uh, it is one of the most important uh, concepts that a stock exchange alone can provide any company. Last year, the BSC had one of its best years since the financial crisis, with daily turnover amounting to 4.1 million pula. It also attracted 11 listings on the bourse. The International Monetary Fund has projected Botswana's growth to come in at around 5% this year. And with a growing private sector, the hope is that more countries will turn to the BSC to raise capital. You see, being a, being a wholly grown Botswana brand, you know, it was the first time ever that uh, a, a huge supermarket chain could take on the likes of, uh, you know, we have ShopRite trading here, we have spa franchisors, we have pick and pay, and you know, it was for, for, for a fully grown Botswana company to take on the likes of uh, the big five was really, really amazing. I mean, and 
And the only way we could get the whole community involved was to list the company, sell our shares to get Botswana to participate. So it's a it's a hundred percent Botswana owned company. And we decided to offer the staff shares so that they could be involved as well in our growth. And uh, I can proudly say, uh, I think almost uh, 95 or 96 percent of the shares were taken up by by our staff. So, which is a good uh, good thing. We're heading into a short break now, but when we return, we take a look at choppy South African operations.